Hi, my name is Ruth Wallace. I'm the founder and organizer of the Porta La Garden Tour. The Garden Tour is a self-guided tour through the Porta La Gardens. Uh, we have private and public gardens uh, throughout the, the Garden Tour. All of the gardens are volunteers. The only requirement is, is you're willing to show your garden and can be home for a day. And so we have gardens that uh, vary from all stages of, uh, of development and also all kinds of gardens, family gardens, you know, private gardens, some of them as small as, you know, almost postage stamp, and others are pretty expansive. So um, it's a variety, it's all of, all of the world is represented <laughs> in our gardens here in the Porta La. I've been coming to the Porta La Garden Tour for about the past seven, eight years, ever since I learned about it, because it is the most important event of the neighborhood. And the reason it's so important is because it links this neighborhood back to its history. In the early 1900s, the Porta La was almost completely farmland. There were greenhouses everywhere, uh, the, the region's uh, flowers were grown in this neighborhood. In fact, if you wanted flowers anywhere in the Bay Area, you would come to this neighborhood to get them. In the past decade, the neighborhood has tried to sort of reclaim its roots as the garden district of the city. One of the ways that it's done that is through the Porta La Garden Tour, where neighbors open their homes and their gardens to each other and to the city of San Francisco so that they can share that history. When I started meeting with the neighbors and seeing their gardens, I came up with this idea it would be a great idea to fundraise. So um, we started doing it as a fundraiser for our scholarship, the um, Porta La Garden District Scholarship at City College. And since we have established it, we've awarded 23 scholarships and six work projects um, with the students here in the Porta La. The scholarship program that, that we have developed in association with Porta La um, is it's it's just a win 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 situation all the way around. The scholarship program is really important because it really helps people be able to continue their education and afford to to take classes while living here. I was honestly not really sure how I could stay in San Francisco. Um, it's so expensive here, and I prayed. I received enough so I could stay in um, San Francisco and finish out my school, which is just fantastic because I don't know where else I would have gone to finish this program. The scholarships sometimes make the difference between students being able to stay here, stay here in the city um, and take classes here or having to go somewhere else. You come into someone's home and it's their private space, it's their personal space, it's all about them and really their garden, especially in a city and urban environment, garden is the extent, extension of their indoor environment, it's their outdoor living room if you will. And why aren't you here at the Portola Garden Tour? It's amazing, it's one of my favorite things to do every year, even if I wasn't volunteering, I've been trying to get my friends and I think I have about 10 friends that I'm going to be meeting up at other gardens because it's fantastic, it's a, it's a beautiful day, you walk around, you look at gardens, you meet people that love gardens, you might get some wine, it's fantastic. <laughs> The Porta La Garden Tour is the last Saturday in September every year, so mark your calendars now. Uh, you can see us on our website, portalagardentour.com, and we're also on Facebook. So hopefully we'll see you in the Portal of Gardens. <laughs>